how are you doing today? Today I have decided to do my May favorites for you. Now if you have been following me around on Vlogmazing, you have seen most of my May favorites. I have had a full month of lots of things that we have done here on this channel. If you haven't caught it, I will have the playlist linked below so that you can catch up on what was going on in the month of May here on Life's Little Things. My first favorite was my birthday. My birthday was May 22nd and to my surprise, Jason and the boys gave me a trip to California, which I'm looking very forward to going and seeing my sister and my niece and my great niece in California. We're going to see Cassie? You are. What, I am? You are. So that is a treasure and I cannot wait to go and see them. Of course in May is Mother's Day, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I got a trip to Savannah, Georgia and I wasn't home for Mother's Day. Me and Jason were away in Georgia at that time, but the boys had got me luggage and then Jason and the boys had gotten me the trip to Savannah, Georgia for our anniversary and for Mother's Day, which was so sweet. We got to play in the ocean and see alligators and there was just lots of things that we enjoyed out in Savannah, Georgia. Getting ready for my trip, I needed a bag to take with me that wouldn't, you know, come across my shoulders or make me uncomfortable as I was traveling. So I found this absolutely adorable little backpack at Target. It was perfect. It has a zip pocket inside, it has a zip pocket outside, has a couple little pouches on the inside. It was great. The it held everything that I needed it to and the weight was perfect on my back to be carrying it through the airports and all the way through Savannah, Georgia. We watched a few movies this month. One of them was called Game Night. This movie is really good. There is a lot of swearing in it, but there's no nudity. So if you're looking for a really good entertaining movie that keeps you on the edge of your seat up until the very end, you think you know what's going on, but you really don't. It's really good. It's called Game Night. Another one was Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Every single one of them I have thoroughly enjoyed. The ships alone are enough to watch the movie. It's The ships are gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, that one was just as good as all the other Pirates movies. I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. And the last movie that we enjoyed was Jungle Book. Wow. That was amazing. They did a fantastic job. They stuck very close to the story in the book and they just made it like the book came to life. It was good. The child actor was excellent. The people that did the voices for the animals was great. It's a fantastic movie. Actually, I would buy that one and own it. Let me show you some of the souvenirs that I got in Georgia. One thing that I got is a little sign that I keep in our bedroom and it says, give me some sugar. And it is from the Paula Deen store. I'm so glad I got that little sign because it just makes me smile. Every time I see it, it makes me smile and it makes me remember being at Paula Deen's store and being at her restaurant in Savannah, Georgia. Another souvenir that I got, we went into a kitchen store and they had aprons. Well, this apron, oh, this apron is so me. It has bicycles on it, which I love. It has adorable sayings, the stripes, the color, the little bow on it. It is me, 100%. I could not walk away from that apron. As soon as I seen it, I knew I had to get that apron. And you will be definitely seeing me wear it in my videos. We ended up getting a roasted pineapple habanero sauce at Sam's. I'm not crazy about real hot and spicy things, but this has got a little bit of heat with sweetness to it. Oh man, is it good. You can put it on chicken, you can put it on pork, you can do a lot with it. Or you can just dunk chips into it if you wanted to, I'm sure. It's like a salsa, but oh, it is so good. If you see this at Sam's and you don't mind a little bit of a kick with some sweetness, definitely grab it and pick it up. It is a great flavor for cooking or just for a snack. I wanted to find a good sunless tanner this summer. So I was looking around at Walmart and I found this tanner and I really like it. It's a foam. 
So I went to Ulta and I got a mitt to put it on with and I'm glad I did because the mitt really makes a difference. I just spray the foam onto the mitt and then I take and I just rub it, you know, all over my legs, all over my arms. It is really pretty. At first you're not going to see a lot of color. It's just a very little hint of color but then it deepens as the day goes on and it stays on you for well I'm up to three days and it's still there if you want you can go ahead and put another layer on the next day and it will just darken it even more I really like this color it doesn't rub off I don't have it on my sheets on my clothes none of that I did let it dry and before you know I stood there and just let it dry it was a little sticky at first, which self tanners are. This stuff is good. I'm definitely going to get another bottle and be using it all summer long. And my final favorite has been vlog mazing. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing vlog mazing this month. I have loved being in contact with you every single day of the week. I have been able to capture many moments here in my life and my family's life on film and share it with you. I want to thank you for all of your support, all of your love, sweet comments, and your kindness. This is the final vlog amazing video for the month of May. So I'm going to be taking a week off and I will be back June 11th unless there is something that comes up and I need to put a video out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.